Did Chinese player just dish us global players? I mean, according to this post, the Chinese player did call us short-sighted, have no understanding about mobile games, and even said, quote, these kinds of people best to quit Genshin, end quote. But wait a damn second, what has caused this? There is no way Chinese player being really harsh towards global players without any reasons, right? Well, apparently, it was started right after GameSpot published their interview with Hoyo first. GameSpot asked lots of good questions, and one of such questions is about the endgame content of Genshin Impact. In the interview, GameSpot asked, Could, currently, the Spiral Abyss is the only true endgame content for players at high adventure ranks. Are there any plans to release new permanent endgame content in the same veins as Spiral Abyss? End quote. Hoyo first answer with, quote, The Spiral Abyss is one of the most effective ways for players to test out their party composition and combat strength. If we design another type of permanent endgame that is similar to the Spiral Abyss, it might end up creating excessive anxiety for our players. Not everyone is interested it must grieve. End quote. This answer from Hoyo first seems to not satisfy some hardcore global players. Here are some of their responses. The whole point of the game is to make your character strong for combat. The endgame should be, of course, heavily combat oriented. If they want a casual game, then they should remove combat altogether. Seriously, it's like they don't know what to do with Genshin Impact. As an adventure rank 60 story enthusiast, there is literally nothing to do in the game right now. There may be some casual player in the game. But there are also people who played from day one and finished everything. Hoyovers can't just ignore that part of the community like that. Endgame is necessary. And as you might already guess, some big YouTubers also voicing their opinion through their channel. This kind of comment triggered the Chinese player. And according to the post made by Teva a tablet Twitter account, here is what Chinese player have to say. Since the start, Genshin is a casual caching mobile game's targeting audience who play less than 30 minutes a day to play, not hardcore players. It's obvious that EN community never play much mobile games, not understanding how big of an impact the high difficulty events could affect the game environment and community. I dare to say that most players who want endgame doesn't care about the story. They only like to farm and farm like World of Warcraft and Destiny too. Genshin used to hold high difficulty events, but generally didn't get many good responses. MiHoYo can check responses through event participation, success rate, and survey. This kind of people is best to quit Genshin. Lest MiHoYo trusts their stuff and releases the endgame content, then these people go complain again on forums because they can't complete due to the account not built enough. Well, I gotta be honest guys. I somewhat agree with what Chinese players say. I mean, Genshin Impact is a casual game, and it was meant to not be played as Dark Soul. But hey, what do you guys think?